Hi, everybody. So this week, you guys are starting your Night of the Notables project, which I sent an email to your families last week, and we talked about it during Friday conferences. And your task over the weekend was to think about who you were going to do a project on, and I had asked you to chat about it with your family, maybe with your siblings, to figure out who you are going to study. So at this point, you should know who you're going to do a project on. And if you don't yet, um, please let me know. And if you're really struggling, we can uh, chat about it and see if I can help you. So if you're looking at the class site, you're on the Notables page right now of the class website. And I just want to speak to a couple things. Um, the first thing is that I've added a photo there of myself during a Night of the Notables project I did when I went to Glen Eagles Elementary School. I think it was grade four or five, and I but I can't remember. Um, but yeah, we called it Night of the Notables as well. So this is a project that's that schools have been doing um, for a really, really long time. And I chose Julie Andrews because the princess, the princess, oh, what's it called? Oh, Princess Diaries had recently come out and I was obsessed with that movies and Anne Hathaway. And so, yeah, I did a project on her. Um, okay, so if you scroll down um, and you're looking at the file that says Night of the Notables, June 2020, and then there's a star there. So that's what you should be looking at right now. And then scroll down, read through this. I just give a little refresher of what um, Night of the Notables is. You'll see here I asked you to use at least five different websites. You're probably going to use five super easily. I'm sure you're going to use more than five um, because, I am I mean, we're not looking at books for this project this year. Um, we'll be using websites and it just takes no time to find a bunch of websites. The bullets here, the one, two, three, there's four bullets. These are things that I'm asking you to keep in mind when you're looking at websites because you're going to come, acro come across a ton and we need to just... Make sure that they're reliable, they're legit, they look real, and, and they're not, you know, made up information. It's not totally just somebody's opinion and about how they feel about this person. Um, yeah. So if we scroll down, it says research notes June 1st to June 5th. So on each day of the week this week, except Friday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you are going to research a different um, category or section for your person. So today, which is Monday, you're going to uh, focus on the biography. Tomorrow, Tuesday, how has your person contributed to society? The third day on Wednesday is challenges. And on Thursday, interesting info. So I've asked you to do it on a lined piece of paper. And Friday is the catch up day. So Friday, if you didn't do one of these days, please do that. Or you could look through your notes from Monday to Thursday and Think about which section doesn't really have enough info in it or show your family members and see what they think. Now, before you start taking your notes, I want you to scroll down on the site and look at the sample that Miss Lusk and I have created together for Serena Williams. Now, we, we both did it on lined paper, so you could see how we tried really hard to keep our, our, our notes neat. And we recorded down what source we used. And we... Um, try to fill in a whole line piece of paper for each category. If you have an iPad or laptop that you can be typing on and you want to do that, then definitely go right ahead. So right now you should be looking at the document that says Serena Williams biography. So I wrote down source number one biography.com. That's the website I got this info from. So I tried to fill in a, um, a line piece of paper worth of information about her biography. And then I used a source number two, which was sportytel.com. Okay, then on the second page, her contributions. Now I've written it as a T-chart with an arrow, and I'm going to ask that you do the same. So on the left, I wrote contribution. So something, um, how she's made a positive impact on society is going to go on the right. So the left side is contribution, which means something great that she's done. And then the impact is, oh, sorry, that's my phone. The impact is, um, how is that influencing people in the world? So for example, on the left, I've said one of her contributions is, she's often scrutinized for her body type. Um, she talks publicly about how her body is unique, so is everyone else's. She says what matters is that she likes herself. 
So the impact is she's a great role model for young girls who might be feeling insecure. She, so, she shows everyone you can be strong, muscular, and beautiful. She shows people it's okay to be who you are. And if you scroll down... Oh. Um, on the left, she talks openly about racial equality. In 1999, she was the second black woman to win a Grand Slam title. She, sh she says she's in a sport that wasn't really meant for black people. So on the right, this is, I, and then I explain how, how does this <clears throat> influence people in the world? So I said she's opened the sport up for other female black tennis players. She shows others that, that there's a level of responsibility that comes with being a woman of color in tennis so she's a role model and she knows that and and yeah and then on the left my last contribution which obviously there is m more than three but um I'm just writing three down on the left she's had a gr she's had great achievements as a woman in as a woman in tennis she's had more grand slams than any man and on the right how has what impact does this have on society? Well, it shows that women don't need to follow the stereotype that they should be passive, which means quiet. Instead, she is tough and she's passionate. Okay? And then your next day, which is Wednesday, challenges. Okay? So these can just be point form. Okay? So if you scroll through challenges, then we use source2, fansided.com. Okay? Then interesting info. So interesting info could be anything. And this might be things that you're recording throughout the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So she, you know, she serves over 120 miles per hour. It's really fast. Her favorite animals are tigers. Like these are just interesting facts that they don't really fit into the, any of the other categories, but they're just kind of interesting and might be worth writing down as something for other people to um, know about. You know, who she's married to, she has her own clothing line, that sort of thing. Okay, so that's your job for this week. We're not doing any, um, we're not doing any posters or anything like that. We'll start different assignments next week, but this week is just note taking. Okay, and you can handwrite it or you can type it. Um, and what you come up with is something that we're going to share during our Thursday, um, meeting. So on Tuesday, when we meet as a group, I'll ask you guys who you've chosen and you can share with the group. But on Friday is when we'll share some information that we uh, found about our people. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions about your project. Thanks.